Not really, chaps. Look, a massive shout out to DJ Finney who got out of prison there the last day. Uh, he's gonna be tearing up the Snapchat world again, bringing his nose onto the big screen. If you don't know who DJ Finney is, don't even look him up, man. <laughs> He'll actually put years on you with the shit he gets at. Look, it's Wednesday morning. Uh, a few bits on today. Uh, we're gonna go get the blood stone first of all. Um, I've been waiting ages to get that. The fucking HSE was hacked, so I've been sitting around me thumb up my ass waiting for someone to stick a needle into me and take some blood. I've been fasting for the last while, which is easy for me uh, because you'll soon get the hang of it that Chris eats to live, doesn't live to eat. So fasting for me is fucking a dream. It's actually a holiday. So, you know, the fact that I don't have to you know, remember to put food in my mouth at a certain time. Oh, boys. It's the little things, man. It is the little things. Hey, you see that bench over there? It's a fucking nice place to sit down there. Alright, so, uh, I just went in to get the bloods done. And, obviously, not allowed to wait inside. Because of COVID. Uh, so, we're chilling out here. I'm not quite sure if I released last week's video. It was a bit of a fucking shit one, to be honest with you. Uh, last week was a busy week. Um... Just a lot of random shit, man. I'd like film like some back of a rap video. I was part of a rap video. I wasn't part of a rap video. I was a driver for a rap video. A um, few meetings in regards to Break Free. Had to, again, get that bubble going again. So hopefully we'll see some clothing on this channel soon. Last week was just predominantly clients. So like, uh, yeah, you know, just helping clients get on the track. Last week was a big week for a lot of people in terms of, it was about week two back to reality here in Ireland. Uh, week one, a lot of people didn't do anything. It was a, a big wake up call. Week two, on the other hand, some people started to come through. A lot of my clients started to pick up again. Uh, and now we're on week three, so again for me week three we have put on one or two kilos uh, You'll see in the pictures of when I stand on the scales with clothes on and I'm around 74 There you go In the mornings fasted uh, first thing out of bed I'm around 71, 72, um, but either way, it is a 1 kg uh, difference, and the road to 80k will be properly 80k. I won't be wearing a big fucking henchman jacket hopping on the scales. Um, and as well, actually, while I fucking have you here, don't think I've ever shown any footage of me actually being fucking like. I know a lot of people go. Oh man, back when I was 80 kilos, I was huge, man. It's fucking shite, man. So. Roll clip of me deadlifting 200 kilos now. Now that 200 kilos was achieved in about six weeks of six weeks training specifically for it, so mm, we'll take it. All right, people, we got the bloods done. Um, never an easy conversation <laughs> going into the doctors. Uh, big difference between a personal trainer and a doctor in terms of health and fitness. Um, with with a lot of things, with a lot of things, we'll say. Um, very funny going in there. Uh, I say funny, not really. She makes me feel like an absolute mop going in there. I won't go into specifics as that is client privilege. Just doctors in their old ways, let's just put it that way. Um, yeah, they're right, but I swear I read that shit in an encyclopedia years ago. Uh, but either way. We're fucking sorted. I'm fucked, man. I sm I moved gyms and one of the staff members is bored. So, to cure his boredom, he sees me there on the leg extension. Fucking giving it socks, yeah? And he comes over and absolutely fucks me up, man. I absolutely had the fucking shakes coming out of that place. I can't straighten my leg today. Oh, it's a proper first leg day feel again, man. I actually learned a lot from him fucking me up in the gym. I Specifically over lockdown, a lot of this shit over lockdown um, 
and like the bulk of information you get online in regards to personal trainers is take it easy your first few weeks back and take it easy and I've been so numb to hearing that myself and saying that to people that I I took it easy on myself in too easy on myself we'll say really like you know when he went into the gym and fucking kicked my ass I'm three weeks back to the gym now I still have this mentality of oh I'm frail and I'm actually gonna injure myself if I push to failure man doing about five RIR and like he just fucked me up and I love it man and I and it just you know like yeah you have to go easy in your first few weeks back but your body can take a lot at the same time so there it's it's hard to find the grips of okay this is actually too hard I need to come off the pedal and no I don't want to train too hard because I might injure myself <sighs> fuck all that man we're gonna start punching the shit out of weights and again like you said up one kilogram but fuck that man, I'll let you know when we hit 80. Um, what are we going to do today? I have to go into town. Hopefully we might look to see if we can get break free t-shirts sold in a shop in Galway City. Alright, let's go. So we've just come out of Avanti there. Sorry I wasn't gonna go and stick a camera in the owner's face. A good conversation with the owner at Avanti, um, very nice guy. As of now they've done nothing for us, but I will plug them as far as probably the best clothes shop in Galway in terms of like street fashion. Like I said, as of now he's done me no favours, so that's a genuine compliment to the shop and the owners. We went in, myself and Daniel, and uh, came to an arrangement. Look, it's nice to get an offer on the table anyway. Uh, maybe not a final offer, but it's nice to get our foot in the door. He seems interested and um, swapped contact details. He's very interested in the products as of now but yeah nice guys and excited like I've already sold clothes on the high street in Galway before this isn't a first but it'll definitely be a first in terms of our clothes will be beside the likes of Six Silk and Jim King and and so on and so forth I'd say to be up against the best is not where I'm coming from to be undercutting the prices of the best is exactly where I'm sitting at now so big ups to Vanti in Galway City and we'll see what happens outside the gym Galway City gym we have moved gym this is my home this has always been my home and look man, best gym in Galway. Best atmosphere, best history. When it's quiet, I'm, uh, I've got to go ahead to film in there, but when it's quiet, I really want to take you around. I'll bring the camera and do a little montage of like all the uh, all the trophies and the history behind the place. Look, I don't know what that dream is that you have, but here's what I know. That that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. Alright, 
first session dust i say first session first session on camera that is um yeah i've been training there for a while training there all last week and uh I absolutely love the place, but yeah, solid session done. Um, absolutely love all the old people in Galway City Gym. Big ups to anyone over the age of fucking 50 training. You absolute sickos. Um, right now, we're gonna go pick up a plus one, eat, and if anything else happens, I'm gonna give you a shout. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been. As you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know. That that dream that you're holding in your mind. That it's possible. 